I was recently on the hunt for a used e-reader. Notably, I was looking for one of the new Bezos kindles, since it's quite easy to jailbreak them and remove all the Amazon crap, making for a device that's pretty good. On that hunt, however, I didn't want to spend too much, so I was looking and looking and finally found an auction for this. The Moan Ink Palm 5, a smartphone-sized e-reader. From my research, Moan is a brand under Xiaomi. I got mine used for a bit under $50 shipped, but if you want a new one, it'll run you around $130 to $150. It comes with a 5.2 inch e-ink display with a resolution of 720p. And frankly, I feel that it's good enough, especially with e-ink where the pixels aren't exactly square. It produces a crisp image even on smaller font sizes. The Ink Palm runs Android 8, has 1GB of RAM, 32GB of ROM, which sadly can't be expanded with a microSD card, a 1400mAh battery, and for some reason, a microphone. It might be for speech to text or something, but I still think that its inclusion is a bit suspicious. I tested the Ink Palm CPU, the all 32 bit ARM B300 with Geekbench 5, and got a score of 86 single core and 162 multi core. In comparison, my current phone on Geekbench 6 scores 2200 single core and 6600 on multi core. It's really slow, but once again, for an e reader, it's good enough. When I first took the ink palm out of the box, I was surprised how light it is. Coming in at just 115 grams and a thickness of 7.2 millimeter, it felt like a feather in comparison to my phone, which is 205 grams and 9 millimeter thick, or with a case on 245 grams and 12 millimeters thick. Setting this device up is a bit of a hassle, since by default it is in Mandarin and loaded with a bunch of apps that all need some kind of account. I don't trust any of them. So after switching to English, which was only added later with a firmware update, I used ADB to both remove most of the apps and install some of my own. Let me show you how I did that. It's really simple. First you plug it in with USB debugging on. Then you can list the devices and see if it's plugged in. After which you can list all the packages. Then you can install your own and from the package list you can choose a few and deinstall them. After doing that, I ended up on this setup. First I used Unlauncher for a clean and minimalist look. Then I got eInk Bro for a simple web browser. Next I got Librera for reading books. It's very simple and nice to use, but opening some books can take a while, especially if you haven't opened them yet. This has probably more to do with the device's speed than the app itself. I then also tried Mihon for manga, but I feel like it's a bit too small on here. When not physical, I usually read them on my phone or tablet, which is a far better experience. What works much better though is the next app, Notes Nook, which I use for my notes. Editing them and such doesn't work too well, but just checking on the notes works fantastic. Notes Nook is however web-based, so you need an internet connection for that. I then installed Simple Keyboard to replace the default one. Because that one was more geared towards the Chinese market, it was horrible to use. One last thing I checked out was a gallery app. I just wanted to see how well it works. And after testing it, I can say that it mostly works for grayscale images. But color ones suffer from a somewhat bad contrast. Let me show you. As an example here, you can see you can barely tell the shirt apart or the pants. And the hand seems far too bright for the image. When you look at the real one, it's far more discernible. But a simple black and white looks like it was drawn onto the device, which makes it amazing to look at. That being said, some low resolutions and somewhat crunched up images actually look kinda decent. Now something I also tried was GIFs, but of course the refresh rate is absolutely horrendous. You maybe get like 10 FPS or something like that. But that's really not the point of an e-reader now, is it? And one last thing I want to talk about is the battery. It has lasted for quite a few days. Of course, I usually don't sit down and read for hours and hours on end, but it's still nice that I can leave the device laying around, pick it up 
and still have almost the same amount of battery left. I also keep Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and the backlight off usually to stretch the battery even further. In conclusion, I really like this device. Now, I do like reading physical books, but sometimes that's simply not too feasible, especially for longer sessions. And the thing I really like about this is the size. I like the smartphone form factor. I like how light it is and how thin it is. It's great for laying in your bed and even just holding it upside down. It feels like you have nothing in it, really. For the few days I had it so far, I've had it on my bedside table and in the evening I just pick it up, read a few minutes and then lay it down again. And for that, it's a fantastic device. And if you find one for cheap, pick it up. I don't think you will regret it.